Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to the Crafty Decor Adventure. Olivia from Olivia is Romantic Home and in today's video I am so excited to share with you guys 10 DIY Dollar Tree sunflower and late summer decor crafts. So listen, I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget and I truly believe that y'all don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous amazing home. Now why I love sunflowers for kind of late to mid summer crafting is because you can get a lot of bang for your buck and take them in to early fall and even into late fall we're going to do some fun fabulous crafts using sunflowers and if you don't care for sunflowers that's okay sub them out for roses whatever you all love i want to thank you guys for 300,000 subscribers here on youtube if you guys want to join me on this little crafting and decorating journey click subscribe if you punch the bell and click all that will update you every single time i post a new video also, a little tip that I have for you guys as you shop for florals for late summer and early fall, those sunflowers are going to be 50 to 75% off at Michael's at the end of the summer. So grab those for your fall crafting. I love to do that. That's how I found some of these orange ones from last season. So just a little tip for me to you. Anyway, I know you guys are here for the crafting. Without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a late summer, early fall hula hoop pool noodle wreath. Okay, so you're going to take a hula hoop from the Dollar Tree and a pool noodle. And I used my uh, box cutter, just cut a strip down the center. And then actually I did use two poodle, pool noodles, actually about a pool noodle and a half. And I just ran those down the entire hula hoop and that created a really large wreath form. And I'm talking like pretty oversized. If you guys like a really, you know, dramatic um, large wreath form, I wrapped it in burlap. And now I'm going to share with you guys how I took and made this into a late summer kind of early fall wreath. Okay, so from our local Red Racks, actually it's about 45 minutes north of us, but it's a really great thrift store. I found this beautiful leaf garland and it's not even a full garland. It's just kind of a leaf greenery piece, like leaf greenery piece is what I'm trying to say. I took this and I just zipped Zip tied it to one side of my pool noodle slash hula hoop burlap wreath base. You guys could also do this to a grapevine wreath base. The next thing I did after I zip tied in three places the leaf garland, I just poked the Dollar Tree sunflowers. I used three bundles and I pushed them in to the wreath base and you can actually push them in like they'll fit directly in the last time i did this i zip tied my florals this is going to go inside so no worries there now you might want to zip tie it or attach it with ribbon if it is going to go outside and you're going to have a lot of windy weather but i also use some of these dollar tree pretty mini mums and then some of the little dollar tree daisies and these are kind of the ones that have like the burlap in them the next thing i want to do is make a really cute a little ribbon so i'm just going to take and make a quick olivia bow so you just take the ribbon and loop it over on itself. Now I found this adorable sunflower ribbon at Hobby Lobby. It's here 2021. So check your local Hobby Lobby for this ribbon or grab some online or at whatever craft store you love, or you could even use some Buffalo check, whatever floats your boat, you guys go for it. Okay. So once I had the ribbon looped over on itself, I just found the center of the ribbon and then I'm taking this zip tie and I'm going to zip tie my little bow together. You could also use a pipe cleaner or some floral wire, anything will work really just to keep that ribbon on there. Now, the next thing I wanna do is just kind of gently fluff my loops out. And I do usually fluff my loops like multiple times. So the first time I'll kind of fan it all out once I get the bow made, then I'll pop my bow into my arrangement. And I did zip tie the bow to the little wreath here and that's going to keep it on there really really well and then i'm going to fluff it again just to see where my loops are at how big they are and make sure everything's cohesive and proportionate to my arrangement or floral wreath here the next thing i did was i just took and cut some tails and I did hot glue the tails into the center and then I kind of felt like they needed a little bit more reinforcement. So I did use some um, smaller ribbon and just kind of tie those tails in. The next thing I'm doing is I'm just kind of accordion style um, making it this little center kind of 
um, flowy thing with my tails. And then I did add this uh, burlap bow to the center of this. Now this burlap bow was on my original hula hoop wreath. <laughs> and so I just added that directly to the center and it's just an Olivia bow and I fluffed it up and there you guys have that. Nobody would ever know that this is a pool noodle wreath. And let me tell you, I feel like for the size of this, it's really high end and it's very budget friendly. A couple of bundles of sunflowers, a couple little mums, and a couple of those daisies along with some leaves. Now Dollar Tree is going to carry some leaf picks that look like this, or you could go to your local craft store, grab some ribbon, have them with a get creative. You should be able to do this on a pretty good little budget. Um, and also, if you don't want to use the pool noodle, you can just wrap a hula hoop. I shared that with you guys on a summer wreath as well. So here it is, so fun and absolutely fabulous on a total budget. This next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm actually going to repurpose this DIY I created. So basically, it's just a couple of little um, wooden dowels popped into one of those round foam um, balls and it has some moss covering it. I took the greenery off because I'm kind of wanting to move into some like more kind of late summer, early fall. So I'm taking these little white flowers that I found at the Dollar Tree. You clip them off just short enough to where they don't stick out super far, but long enough to where they'll pop into your little styrofoam ball. And then the next thing I wanted to use also was some um, more of these white flowers now. So I did use two stems of the white flowers to give it a lot of coverage. And again, this is just a white styrofoam ball and it has a little bit of moss over it. And then I just popped some wooden dowels into the bottom of it and I had stained those wooden dowels. And then for my base over here, that was a Dollar Tree DIY where I painted this pot and made it look kind of like a terracotta pot. And you guys can pop back into some of my summer videos and find that DIY, it's super fun and easy. Now I'm going to take some of these brighter kind of orangey yellow sunflowers and I only used one bundle of these because they were awfully bright but super happy and I just popped those into kind of the spaces that I felt like were a little bit bare and with the white ones. Now you could totally stop here, um, but you guys know I'm probably gonna keep going with all of this. I mean, if you've guessed it by now, <laughs> I really love a full arrangement so I did go ahead and pop it back down into the base and the base is just a piece of styrofoam popped down in there. Now I did have some scrap sunflower ribbon left over so I'm just making a quick little loopy bow. You just take the ribbon, loop it all over on itself and then pinch it in the center. Now I did decide to add a couple of yellow sunflowers because my little yellow sunflower ribbon had quite a bit of yellow in it. And so I just added those in and then I'm taking kind of this mesh burlapy ribbon and I'm gonna make a quick little kind of loopy bow here, pinch it in the center and then add that to the base of my floral with a bit of um, just some uh, burlap string. I'm making a quick little tail, tying that on and hot gluing that to the center of my ribbon. And then I just pop a cute little kind of pumpkin on to the top part of the bow and then tucked another sunflower in. You guys know me, I love to go totally over the top and I kind of really got a little bit crazy on this one, but I just think it's so happy and so adorable and it's gonna be really easy to change out as we begin to transition into the next season. So, you know, you could pop a couple of the sunflowers out and add in some more leaves or pumpkins just to make it look a little bit more fall but I thought this would be fun for again a late summer early fall idea um, I am so excited to share these ideas with you guys and I hope you all are really loving them 
Dollar Tree DIY. We're going to take some of those Dollar Tree sunflower plates that I shared with you guys in my last haul. Go check it out if you need some fun summer ideas for how to set a beautiful summer table and what Dollar Tree is carrying. But I am going to take this piece of painter's tape and run it down the center and then begin to use my Sharpie marker to just draw out lines. So you could do a fun stripe down this plate, which I definitely played with the idea of just doing a stripe, or you could go in a little bit further and do that Mackenzie Childs um, courtly check look. So that's what I decided to go for. It was a little bit tricky on the edges of the plate, and you could probably skip that part, which if I do more, I probably will, um, and just do the front part like right here where I'm showing you guys. So you're just going to take your painter's tape and mark out those squares. This is super easy. And then you're going to go in with some black paint. Now I did a fine black glass paint at Michael's. So it's great for painting on glass. I've also used acrylic paint, which works great as well. And I believe the glass paint is also acrylic paint. It's just more for glass and it's very price friendly. I think it was $2 for a bottle. But again, I use acrylic paint all the time. I just happened to find this at Michael's and Michael's was actually out of so many of their paints. Comment and let me know if you guys are seeing that in your stores where they're out of so many different crafting supplies. I'm guessing it's because everybody is at home crafting right now. So now that I have my black checkered squares, I'm going in and I'm adding in just some touches of white and just begin to kind of touch some of those little edges up and then also filling in with a smaller brush um, the rest of those black parts. So this is gold paint. It's just in the color gold by Arteza Craft Company and it's what I use to drag the gold in. So if you study the McKinsey Child's checks, the courtly check always has a little bit of whites and golds dragged into their checks. And so by to do that, you're just going to take your brush and you're going to dab one side of the brush with a bit of gold and the other side with a little bit of white or black, whichever square that you're coloring in. That's what I have found so far to kind of give it that look. Now, I am still learning. And in fact, I am taking some of those beginner acrylic classes and the on Skillshare, which is super exciting. You guys are going to definitely have to try some of those, but it's such a lesson in patience. And I guess I'm just so excited to learn this new skill with the acrylic painting. I have painted with oils before, but I've never tried my hand really at acrylics. So I thought this was super fun and fabulous and it's very forgiving as well. So I also picked up this Deco Color Premium uh, Pro Pen at Michael's and it's just a gold leafing metallic pen. That's giving me a little bit more control over doing that gold edging. So McKenzie Childs actually does a gold edging on their plate. So I love that. So here is how everything is going to look. I'm adding this beautiful charger that I also hand painted and I'm going to add in the Dollar Tree sunflower dish. Now, my inspiration came from this high-end decor store that was selling sunflower, sunflower plates that had this black background and they were $25 a plate and we customized and made our own for only a dollar plus your paint supplies. Here's also that little Dollar Tree. This is more of a dish towel, but I popped a napkin ring that I DIY'd and then if you tuck the ends under, you have a really beautiful DIY. I want to share with y'all how to make a super easy late summer bow with some sunflower ribbon. Now I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, but you're just going to measure the ribbon, the length from your arm to your elbow for a lantern. And then you're going to take and loop that ribbon over on itself. And I counted a couple of loops on each side. And then I'm just going to find the center. I'm going to trim off this bottom edge right here. And then I'm just going to pinch the little ribbon here in the center. And I'm going to zip tie it together. I've really Really been using zip ties a lot on my ribbons and bows. Surprisingly enough, you can always use floral wire and also um, a pipe cleaner will work as well. I just find zip ties hold that ribbon on really well. Okay, so I love to get a good fluff in on my ribbon. And again, I did get this ribbon at Hobby Lobby, but I'm just going to take the ribbon loops and pull them out. And I really have needed some bright, beautiful, sunshiny colors in my life right now. So if you guys are looking for something that is a pop of sunshine beauty, 
check out your local craft store for some beautiful sunflower ribbon or any ribbon that makes your heart smile. I'm gonna zip tie this ribbon to the top of my lantern and then I do want to trim off a little section of the ribbon to make some tails. To make my tails and to make my tails look a little bit better, I'm going to take and just cut a little triangle in an upwards direction and twist it to where both of the pretty sides are showing out. And then I believe I zip tied the entire thing to the top and then covered it with um, some of this um, just pretty Dollar Tree ribbon. So that is going to give me a really nice, beautiful, fluffy bow. And the secret to my bow is lots of fluffing. I play with the bow quite a bit to really get it nice and fluffed well. And then um, I also do love to add in just some florals to the center of my bow when it comes to making a lantern. And I'm just really loving all these beautiful, happy yellow sunshiny colors. They're gonna go so pretty with the pops of blue that I've been adding to my living room recently. So now I'm just gonna take some sunflowers from the Dollar Tree and I clip them off at their stems here. And then I'm just going to bundle them together Together. So I kind of put several of them end to end and then I'm going to take a zip tie and just zip tie the center of this and that's going to give me kind of like a little faux swag here. Um, you could always again just use some wire or whatever you have on hand that will kind of hold all of this together. Um, and so I did add some cute little blooming sunflowers and again I've just been so in the mood for some really beautiful bright pops of yellow. Now I hot glued this to the top. You can see I'm kind of hanging on to it to get it to stay. Um, and then I did add some of these little white flowers. I wanted to say that they're daisies, but they're not. And I cannot remember what they're called. You guys will have to drop a comment down below and let me know. But these are some pretty flowers that you guys can mix into some of your fall decor um, or late summer decor is what I meant to say, but we are going to be heading into fall with some of our crafts in the upcoming weeks. So I guess in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, to start edging in some of those pretty um, bright colors. And again, you don't have to necessarily use the brighter colors for fall. You can pop into your local craft store and really find any ribbon you love and just add some beautiful blooming florals. So I added some smaller little um, mini mums, I believe these are, and then just those funny little um, little balls on a, on a pick. <laughs> and then I popped in this flickering flameless candle into my lantern and I find these on Amazon. I'll link my Amazon store in the description box of this video for you guys and there you have that a beautiful blooming late summer lantern and then what you can do is once it gets closer to fall you can add in some pretty pumpkins and some brightly colored orange sunflowers or just some of those fall mums and so it's going to be kind of a multi-use creation this next DIY I want to share with you all how to create a summer floral on a budget so from I believe TJ Maxx or maybe Tuesday morning I found these really beautiful blue and white pictures I'm taking this Dollar Tree piece of star styrofoam and I just hot glued it to the base of the picture now I'm going to take some of these sunflowers the sunflowers are in a bundle they're half off at Michael's right now so I am beginning to transition some of my more spring florals into summer florals now what I like to do is add in sunflowers into my arrangement. I'm gonna add a taller one up at the top and then one off to the side. And then I'm just gonna add in some blue flowers and this is going to keep that beautiful summer vibe going. So mixing in some blues and some whites. And then once it becomes a little bit later into summer and we wanna start moving into fall, I can pull the blues and whites and begin to mix in some fall colors. But sunflowers are so bright and so sunshiny. So I added in some taller white flowers. Again, these are also half off at Michael's. And then I'm just kind of clipping them off and picking them in, in and around this beautiful summer floral. So 
So after I gave my summer bouquet a bit of a fluffing, I did pop in a couple of little orange and yellow um, flowers just kind of peeking out the back. And I popped this onto my mantle. I have been collecting books from the thrift store. I feel like it is one of the best places to find used book for decor and also for reading. I also found those little A to Z bookends. They're not vintage, but I thought they looked really cool on my mantle with these beautiful blue and white pictures. And the pictures were like probably 12 to $15. And then just popping in these summer bouquets, this blue and white is just really speaking to me this year. It feels so crisp and cool and clean. And then I added some topiaries to either side of my mantle. This next DIY, I want to share with you all how to make a beautiful, easy Dollar Tree blooming floral arrangement. So I'm taking this really pretty blue planter. I picked this up at Tuesday morning for about $14. And I'm going to take some of these Dollar Tree sunflowers and I'm going to pop the sunflowers into the base of the planter. Now the planter was rather deep. And so I decided to leave the stems on instead of remove um, the florals from the stem. So I'm just laying it, layering in some sunflowers and then some of the little mini mums. And I used white and green for the mini mums and then these pretty little white flowers. I really feel like for my late summer decor, I always love to do pops of yellows mixed in with some whites and then you can even add in some browns. Um, this is just a fun idea to begin to transition into our fall colors and then you could pull some of these out or even add to it with some pretty pumpkins. Once the fall hits, I will probably remove the white flowers and add in you know, some more fall colors. But I'm really interested to see how I love the yellow and the blue. And so far, I think it looks really, really nice together. Now, I did really bundle this up. You guys know me. I love to go over the top. In fact, really, when I do my floral arrangements, I even get inspiration from bridal florals. Now, all I'm doing is adding in some greenery. This is just some of that Dollar Tree greenery moss. And I'm even using some of those little white foam balls that come on the pick. It gave it some dimension. I'm not sure how crazy about them I am. I guess I'm just not used to seeing them in my arrangements, but I think it gave it kind of a whimsical, fun look. You guys are gonna have to comment and let me know what you guys think about those. They are new to Dollar Tree, so I thought it would be just a fun idea, and I really like to change things up a lot and share with you guys some new ideas. So I just stacked them on top of, or I stacked the arrangement on top of these thrift store books and then mixed in some of these pretty little red pillows. I actually bought them off of Facebook marketplace total blessing and they're really pretty and then of course there's Bindi Bear he was snoozing on the job but he later picked up his uh crafting skills by completely destroying some of For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanted to share with you guys how to take one of the cute little Dollar Tree sparkling sunflower clips and make it into a napkin ring. So I've seen these style of napkin rings at the more high-end decor stores, and they are so much more than a dollar. So all you have to do is take a pack of the Dollar Tree napkin rings. They come in a set of six, and then remove the little original sunflower clip. You're going to want a hot glue around the sunflower and you should probably even take it apart and just hot glue all the layers back together which is kind of what I had to do um, a little bit trial and error on but then you're just going to add the hot dab of hot glue to your napkin ring and then hold it on there until it gets nice and sturdy on there you could also even add a little bit of e6000 glue which is a permanent hold as well and then I'm taking this beautiful jewel from totallydazzle.com now of course this is optional. I'll leave my jewel link down below because they're only about a dollar fifteen each, and you get a whole pack of them. Um, so they're a really great deal, and they're so sparkling and they look so high end. So I just hot glued the jewel into the center, and look at how high end and booty gorgeous on a budget. So you can use these as a napkin ring, and I also just popped it into this super adorable little teacup. But if you guys can see the Mackenzie Childs patterns has a lot of gold in it. So if you are decorating with shabby chic decor, you can add in touches of gold and that's going to pull the fall decor into your home without going over the top with the oranges and um, all of the harvest colors. Maybe not that, you know, those colors aren't for everybody or their decor, but see how you can pull that gold in and even some hints of orange and still really look very fall. 
Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I have one of these smaller Dollar Tree clear plates and I really wanted to add in a really pretty little small plate to the mix of my groupings. I've been buying really nice wrapped chocolates and I thought, oh, these would be really fun to just put a wrapped chocolate on. So I'm taking some of this waterproof Mod Podge and then one of the McKenzie Childs napkins. So McKenzie Childs is a really high-end whimsical website, super artistic and fun and funky. And I'm just going to lay the napkin down on top of the plate and I used a lot of Mod Podge and then I always go back over it with another layer of Mod Podge. Now you can also remove the backing from the napkin and if you paint the back of the napkin that will help the napkin show through. Because I've been decorating with vintage books though I don't want this to look new. I want it to look a little bit more aged and just kind of you know, a little bit more subtle. So anyway, I am trimming off the napkin, which still has Mod Podge on it. So I've got a note to self, make sure I clean those scissors. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more Mod Podge and then add one whole layer to really get it to be really on there. It's gonna need some time to dry. So definitely give it plenty of time to dry. I actually suggest leaving these overnight before you try to decorate much with them. Um, or you can do like I do and get out the heat gun or blow dryer and try to speed things up because you're trying to get this video up. So anyway, this is a fun and easy craft and napkins are super inexpensive, you guys. Use whatever napkin you have. I styled it with that cute little scarf plate that we made and the beautiful little candle. And voila, we have this fabulous little setup on a total budget. Listen, you guys, as always, comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video, which one you'll be creating, and all of that fun stuff. And I do have a new giveaway coming up very soon. I'm gonna announce it either in um, Thursdays or Saturdays video. So you guys keep your eye out for that. And I love y'all. I'm thankful to have you here. Drop an emoji and light up the comment section with just happiness and joy and goodness. And thank you guys truly for being here. It's a true blessing and honor. I am so excited to share this next Dollar Tree DIY with you all. It is so easy and it comes out so super adorable. Okay, so you're going to grab one of the Dollar Tree sunflower placemats and you're just going to cut out several of the sunflowers. And then I'm taking this pillow cover. It's just a buffalo check plaid pillow cover that I found on Amazon. You could use any pillow cover that you have and it's just a fun way to jazz up a pillow cover for your late summer early fall so i am taking my scissors and i'm just cutting out the ends of the sunflower this is a little bit tedious so you could pop a show on um, or have one of your kiddos helped you um, if they're you know good with the scissors um, but so i'm just going to kind of layer the sunflower on and i'm just taking the hot glue and kind of running it in strips but very very regularly, I mean, very lightly pressing on the glue. So you don't want a lot of globby glue, just a tiny bit. You could also use fabric glue, it would probably work even better. Now you guys know me, I love my hot glue. So I used two larger and then one smaller. You know how you see those really cute, like specialty pillowcases while you're out and you're like, oh, that's so adorable. I need that for my bench or my little basket. And then I'm just taking some Dollar Tree burlap. I cut a little dovetail in the end. So cut your little triangle in the end and then I'm just taking it and kind of ruching it um, up underneath the sunflower to kind of make it look like it's cascading in a downward direction. Um, now you could just make your lines straight. Be careful because the burlap doesn't have much that went to glue. Um, I have neuropathy in my fingers, which is kind of a blessing in disguise sometimes because I can't really feel the tips of my fingers. So I know a lot of you guys ask me, oh, am I not burning the tips of my fingers? I really can't feel them that well. Um, now, Sometimes it's not a great thing <laughs> that I have the neuropathy, but for this purpose, it actually is. So I'm adding in another tail to the other side of my sunflower. And then I decided to make a cute little bow in the center of that. So you can just take that burlap ribbon, loop it over on itself, pinch it in the center. I tied it off with some little burlap spring string and popped it into the center of my little goodie here. And it turned out so stinking cute, you guys. Oh my goodness, I popped it in on top of this bench with a lovely little cozy fall sweater. 
um, blanket. They have these out at Target right now. They are so soft and so cozy. Um, and I just thought it was the perfect thing. It is right here with all of my fall goodies. And oh my goodness, again, this is so easy. And just grab a pillow that you already have on hand. Um, or grab some of those little pillow covers from Amazon. I'm addicted to them. Anyway, I hope you guys are inspired and this gives you guys some fun ideas for your upcoming decor season for late summer, early fall. Now for this last DIY, I'm going to make another sunflower floral arrangement and it's going to somewhat match the one that I did earlier. So again, I had found um, one of these planters, I believe at TJ Maxx, and this other one I found at a flea market for like $10. I thought it was so beautiful, so elegant. And so I'm just going to take these little sunflowers, I'm going to pop them in. And again, remember, I'm beginning to use sunflowers now in my summer decor because it's going to be a dual purpose. So when summer gets over, I can pull the white flowers out and I'm adding white flowers into the center of the arrangement. And these are just some that were left over from the first arrangement. So again, though, I think sunflowers are such a great transitional flower and they're always looking towards the sunshine. So anyway, I'm also popping in some of those pretty little blue flowers and all of these flowers for the most part came from Michael's and they're 50% off. So I always encourage you all to begin to shop um, some of the end of season clearance flowers. So you're going to see spring and summer will go on clearance at some point in time right before fall hits and you guys can grab some really great deals. You don't have to buy the fall sunflowers. You can buy the summer sunflowers, which is what I always do. They may be a little bit more bright. They might not be as muted of tones, but you're going to get such a better deal. So anyway, now I'm adding in some more pretty just kind of draping florals and just kind of staggering them really to make them look like a fresh flower bouquet um, or more of like a wild flower bouquet. I know it's not really fresh flowers because they're silk flowers, but this one will not go dead on me. And I'm actually replacing my Mother's Day flowers with these pretty happy sunshiny flowers. So as always, I ask that you guys comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be attempting to recreate? What flowers do you love to begin to use as your transitional flower? Um, from summer and then thinking about moving into fall. I know, don't yell at me, but I do like to get as much bang for my buck. So that's going to be the secret question for this video. What are your transitional hot summer flowers that you absolutely love? Or do you love to stick with the green? So for this next DIY, it's actually gonna be kind of more of like a trash to treasure DIY, but we found this Gatorade bottle out in the yard and cleaned it up and I decided to make it into like this cute little kind of late summer, early fall arrangement. So I'm just taking some of this wax Waverly chalk paint and I'm gonna chalk paint the outside of this little jar. And you guys could use any jar really pretty much that's in your refrigerator. Um, and it doesn't even probably have to be glass. And Dollar Tree also sells like little glass jars as well. I just saw it and I was like, oh, I need to make a cute arrangement with that. So once it dried, I only used one coat, but once it dried, it probably needed to do two coats, but I knew I was gonna like decorate it with this cute little burlap ribbon. So I just wrapped the burlap ribbon around my jar and tied it or just wrapped it on there and hot glued it. And then I'm just taking some of this Dollar Tree ribbon. I want to make a cute little easy bow to dovetail your ends on any bow for your tails. You're just going to cut a little triangle in an upwards direction. Always remember to try to do that. It gives your projects a really nice little finished edge. And if you're selling your product projects or giving them away, you want them to look really nice and pretty and professional. So then once I have that done, I'm just going to take and make a cute little loopy bow. This is a seriously the easiest bow you just take the ribbon loop it on over on itself and then tie it off in a center it's kind of what I call like a little tuxedo kind of bow which I'm not for sure if that's the official term but that's what I think is a nice term for it okay so once I have that tied off at the center I'm just going to hot glue it to the front of this little jar and then you guys can get really creative on what you want to put in your jar my tails were a little long I did I think I ended up trimming those off just a bit more but I hot glued it to the front 
and then you can just pop some flowers in. This is like seriously the easiest arrangement in the world. And there you have that. I even popped in some like little white flowers too, just to give it a bit of dimension. I think I might've just liked it better though with the sunflowers. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know on that one. So anyway, here it is popped in to my cute little kind of late this summer crisp apple display. Let me know which is your favorite DIY in this video and which one you will you be recreating. Now onto the good part, Benji Bear's very first birthday. Okay, so here is all the puppy dog treats that we made. Really, it's just some dog food. And then we have cat food out for Tinky. Now Tinky is terrified of Theo. And Theo is not used to being around cats. So Theo is my son's dog over here. <laughs> and he is about four or five months younger than Benji Bear. But Benji Bear's official birthday is June 28th. And so there is my son and his beautiful girlfriend. These two are just amazing. So I know it's kind of a silly thing to have a dog birthday party, but we could not resist. And this little cake is dog friendly. They actually make this. And you can so thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It's a true blessing and honor to have you all here. If you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I love to share with you guys how you can make your homes boutique gorgeous on a budget. Thank you all so much for 300,000 subscribers here on YouTube. It is such a blessing and an honor and it's truly me, my little craft table, my camera, and you guys. I'm a little one woman show and I'm just so thankful that you all love what I do, sharing how to craft and decorate on a budget. If you guys need inspiration for any holiday season, organizing, tidying, or just loving on your home in general, using Dollar Tree and thrift store and just, you know, hobby lobby, just inexpensive goodies, check out the rest of my YouTube channels. I have everything, or not YouTube channels, but playlist on my YouTube channel. I have everything organized for you into categories. So you can go to fall and Halloween, you can go to Christmas, um, spring, pinks, bridal, whatever you guys love. So check those out. Um, also, I would love to invite you guys to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Subscribing is totally free, and if you punch the bell and click all, it will update you every single time I post a new video. And if you want to see videos daily, pop over to my Libby's Romantic Home Facebook page. I post several DIY videos a day over there just to keep you guys inspired, and I love to start transitioning into that next season because especially if you guys are crafting and decorating um, for your home or maybe you have a little Etsy shop or you want to give gifts to a loved one, it's a great idea to start thinking ahead a season. And that's how you guys love to watch me anyway. So anyway, I'm hugging all of your hearts so tight. Thank you all so much. It is such a blessing and honor to have everybody here. I love y'all so, so much. I can't wait for our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind. I want to talk to you guys very soon. Bye-bye.